Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm here in a new setting today, somewhat familiar, getting ready to do a reading for the collective. Um, you know, I feel completion and it actually feels really good. I'm going to be pulling some White Witch Tarot cards. These are just the Major Arcana because I do want to pick up on what the energies are. The completion I'm feeling is like a final goodbye and a final goodbye to the things that no longer serve us. I don't really see this as saying, this could be saying goodbye to people. This could be saying goodbye to a past way of being. But as we really approach this new energetic new year, which is starting with Aries season, we're really ending the cycle with Pisces season by really feeling out the depth of our emotions. Okay, so the card that's on the ground is the star. The star. So we are healing. Look at that beautiful reflection of that flame on that card. Do you see that? That was not intended. What I'm seeing here is twin flame. Look at that. There's two flames. We caught two flames here as I was about to say twin flames. Let me turn off my ceiling fan because you can actually see this flame flicker. Just turn off my ceiling fan. Look at these two flames here. piece of lavender and a flame that's lit and now they're becoming one you kind of see it split in between there do you see that two flames there we go two flames becoming one and what really gave me the indication of that is by seeing the flame reflected here so there is you know this could potentially just end up being a twin flame reading here it seems like there is a, something that's being mirrored to you in this connection with this person or someone, clearly in someone you're connected to. And it's bringing about a lot of healing. Just look at that. Wow. Oh, now we've got the two flames just burning brightly there. Look at that. Okay, look, the lovers fell out. That is a card of the twins. That is twins here. That's Gemini season. If you saw, there was so much flickering, there was so much tension there, but then now they've, both of these flames have rightfully found their, their roles. That is just so stunning. Look at that, you can see the two flames there, yeah. Also, with, this, with the lovers, I'm seeing that decisions are being made because of this healing. As we undergo this mirrored relationship, we're beginning to understand more about ourselves. That's what I'm seeing. In this connection, there's a very deep, deep, deep understanding of what's happening. As you can see, one is more awakened than the other. But the other one's flame is slowly flickering and it will burn brightly. Obviously, that flame will find its ending eventually. But I mean, in this connection, I, I don't see that. Um, I just felt like I wanted to say that because if I don't want any of you putting too much weight onto that flame. It did give me an indication of where this reading is going, but it is not the end energy. I'm going to use a light seer's tarot to see what I need to know more about this healing and this mirrored connection. The lover's tarot really confirms to me that we're talking about twin flames here, okay? Ten of Swords, so that is the walking away from the burdens I was talking about. Page of Swords, potential communication, a new fresh new start in a way of thinking, and stepping into our power. Wow. Bottom of the deck, death and rebirth. Let's take that. Ooh, and then Emperor. Oh my god, Emperor and Empress! <laughs> oh my god, you see how I shock myself with these readings? Okay, let's take it one by one. This healing... is really allowing you to see a new horizon for yourself. Now, understand in the regular Rider weight tarot, this is a card of like extreme anxiety. There's usually somebody laying face down on the ground with 10 swords right in their back. <laughs> Not a nice card. But here, the 10 of swords is really somebody finally 
giving flight to their thoughts and saying, okay, time to let you fly away as I go off to a new horizon, a new destination. And they see the opportunity. They see the possibility. This is somebody stepping away from lack mentality. I'm very inclined to say this is the feminine, okay? Because there's all women on this card here. So we're coming into a very highly feminine energy. And here I'm seeing that as she's walking away, new opportunities have an opportunity to come about. New thoughts, new perspectives, new ideas. This feminine could also be getting epiphanies, understandings, deep knowings and understandings, and some communication and knowledge on what this journey has meant for her up until this point. It's like the entire journey gets contextualized and now there's going to slowly be emerging. So it's not that as much as there is one awakened person to the connection and one isn't awakened, clearly the divine masculine, his energy is still burning. He's still there and eventually they will merge into one flame. That's beautiful. Now listen here, okay? You don't take that seriously. I don't want you merging and forgetting who you are, you know? We don't want that. I'm still having my coffee so early here. This card also is very positive to me because it does signify how the feminine really does hold the world inside of her. Her healing not only leads the way for this transformation for the masculine, but here she understands that she has everything she needs. Not only does she have wings to take flight at any given time that she desires, she's now choosing to take flight based off the fears and the knowledge and the wisdom that she's received throughout her healing journey. And now she's giving birth to a new her. Now, as she undergoes this journey, she makes way for the masculine's journey. So it's like she is giving birth to this masculine. I know, weird, but there you go. Shout out to my friend Erwin because he is such a healthy masculine figure on a journey himself. And he got a new Ram art piece that he put on his wall and he sent it to me. And now I see the Emperor card here with this art piece here. So that tells me that there is a masculine going, undergoing a journey you know, I think what will be very difficult for the feminine to understand here is that this masculine may not be acting in ways that you think somebody on the healing journey would act, but this masculine has never really done things the way we've wanted, have they? With a divine counterpart right from the off. I mean, just look at that. This is crazy. Now, lots of fire energy here because the, the feminine is really empowered by the moon, her intuition, her feelings. She's embracing her journey. The masculine has been very preoccupied with living life as a game. He's wanted to make the right moves. He's wanted to put the pieces down wherever they give him the most benefit. And I think he's starting to realize that, listen, he's got the last piece here because all the game pieces are no longer on the board. He needs to embrace his inner power. And this transformation that's coming about here is him really looking at himself. This could be him finally understanding what is being mirrored back to him in this connection. Sorry if my table shakes. Mm -hmm. To me, in this card, it's like a complete undoing. When you're standing here and we have no face, it's telling me that this person is at the inception of establishing a new identity, a new way forward, a new way of thinking. They see right through. And now their death and their birth process is merging. And it's funny because we've got birthing here, you know? This card normally is just death, but here in the Light Seer's Tarot, it is death and rebirth. So the feminine is leading way for this masculine to be reborn again. I'm going to get a little bit more organized here. This card is also indicative of the connection being transformed. So I do want to look more into the masculine. Okay, we're going to put the masculine here. Knight of Swords. Oh, two cards. Queen of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Wow. Wow. 
Wow, wow. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups. So they are working towards their wish fulfillment. Oh, Ace of Cups. I like that. Ultimately, this transformation is bringing them not only to what they desire most in their heart center, but it's beginning with loving themselves and understanding who they are and finally taking the decisions of stop playing. They're going to stop playing a game and they're going to take decisions that bring them closer to their truth. They're going to do things for themselves. That's what's beautiful here. With the Four of Cups, I'm seeing that this masculine is getting a lot of divine guidance and he's just on the brink of taking it and he's going to take, he's going to act on that quite swiftly. I think up until this point, it's been a very despondent energy where this masculine has just not been accepting the guidance being given to him. It's like the, the universe has constantly put him in this repeat situation to continue to understand what it is, it need, what it is that he needs to heal. The universe is constantly reminding him of his self-worth, where he needs to step up into his self-confidence and how he can show up as the true him rather than playing this game that he's sort of understood life to be. Okay? But with the Knight of Swords coming out here, I'm seeing that this masculine finally is going to be taking this guidance that the universe is giving him and he's going to act up on it. And that is going to be a rush towards his authenticity and truth. I see that this is a sword that's going to cut away anybody that doesn't need. You know, this masculine has been cutting too much with his sword. I will say that. He's been cutting away people. Anything that has triggered him, he has cut them out. He has ended those situations. He hasn't shown up in conversations. He hasn't been authentic to himself. But I see that changing. Because a card that comes out is the Page of Cups. Which tells me he's gone from being really cold and cut off to now tapping into a little bit of his emotions. This is not a Knight of Cups. This is not a King of Cups or a Queen of Cups here, okay? So he's coming in still with a little bit of emotional immaturity. But that's because he is... I didn't even tell you this masculine is coming back. I didn't even state that. It's just a given fact here and I've kind of been rolling with it. But he is coming in with an, um, an emotional offer to reignite something. I feel, okay? And this is going to be one of the many things he needs to do in his life to step towards his truth. So feminines, understand that you a process in this transformation here a very beautiful process in this transformation but understand that you are not just the main destination okay you are part of his journey as this masculine steps and rushes towards his truth you'll have a place in his life as long as he keeps himself trapped in self-deceptive behavior and manipulative energies running away from who he truly is you'll have no room in this journey and you don't want to take up space in that journey because you are all about authenticity and honoring your true self this masculine is being put on that path now is what i'm understanding here okay and he's coming towards you the queen of pentacles okay you are wise enough and spiritually evolved enough to understand this connection between emperor and empress he's really stepping into his emperor power so right now he sees you as this queen of pentacles okay somebody he wants to create with somebody he wants to have a life with somebody he, he sees as stable successful has what she needs and when she plants her seeds they always reap her beautiful rewards this is beautiful what else do I need to know about this journey? I'm going to use the Sacred Lover's Oracle. Happiness and joy. I see if you if you're spying on your masculine first of all stop doing that okay <laughs> but also like you may be seeing him having a good time I did channel quite recently that I felt that there was going to be a group of masculines who are really going to step into their power with lighthearted energies I think sometimes feminines have this idea that it's a painful journey so they're going to have tower after tower after tower completely destroying their life and there's just sorrow and tears and that's how they're going to learn but no sometimes if they're just surrounded by the right people and they're having a good time they want to stay there. They like that feeling. They begin to understand what it is to be healthy and speak healthy and feel healthy. And then they want more of that. And then as they embrace that journey of wanting more of that, they begin to understand and get, take the guidance they need to maintain that. And that's how more realizations about you 
begin to occur to them, okay? So that's very important. Falling in love, oh my goodness. Yin yang balance. So this is a merge and a union of the masculine and feminine energy here, okay? Of the beautiful masculine and feminine that have been coming through in their transformation. This journey is aligning them. Missing you, nostalgia, and memories. So this masculine is thinking about you. Please take that as a confirmation here. As much as it may seem that they're cut off and cold, like they're really bad actors. They might be able to fool the people around them because the people around them are like silly and dumb. I'm sorry, I, I just can't find a better way to say it. But those people are also enabling them or manipulating them or giving into the manipulation because they want this masculine to appear a certain way. You see them for who they truly are. So when you're looking at their social media, you know that they miss you, what you feel, the astral traveling, the energies you're picking up, okay? It's all, all, all connected. And I also feel that the page of cups that I had picked up is going to pick up. They're slowly beginning to understand how they feel about you, okay? That's beautiful. I do want to look more at the union energies here, but before I do that, let me look at where the feminine is. I think it's pretty clear that the feminine is embracing her journey, so I think this is going to be a quicker read, but... victoriously moving towards her destination, always tapping into her truth. So she's been in this energy for a very long time. Now, this kind of shows me the masculine had the knight of swords, the feminine has the knight of swords. The feminine continues to move victoriously as she's embraced this a while back. Now the masculine is getting ready to do the same. See how you guys mirror each other? See how the flame is always coming back to you? The card on the ground is seven of wands. So this is telling me that you're going to need to have boundaries, feminine, especially as your masculine approaches. You don't want to get back into the same thing. So this is a bit of a warning. Oh, look at the bottom of the deck, nine of cups. The masculine have this too. You too are working towards your wish fulfillment. Look how beautiful that is. The journey has aligned you guys on what you both desire. And now you're moving towards discovering more of this and also stepping into your authenticity and moving in that direction. That's where you guys are mirroring each other. And that's where those flames are being mirrored back into one another. Sorry if you hear a little bit of construction in the background. You've got some workers out there working. I need to know about these boundaries. Sun. Okay. Six of Pentacles. King of Swords. Then I have Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So definitely a confirmation on that social media message I was pulling out on. You may look on social media and see that your masculine seems cut off. But just understand there's balance coming back into the connection. You managing this way of thinking is also part of your healing journey here, okay? These are the boundaries you need to set. I see this more as self-management, putting up boundaries for yourself. Stop looking at their social media. Stop looking at their social media and putting yourself in an intentional place to trigger yourself to think that your masculine has no feelings for you. They do. You feel it. You know it. So stop trying to give in to the 3D. Your masculine may be putting up a front on social media. That's what I'm getting here with this card, that they might put up a front that they're unaffected, they're dating, they're moving on, whatever the situation is, but you know the truth. Okay? And the truth is that they are coming into balance with this connection with you. Strong Leo energy here. Strong Taurus energy here with the Empress, okay? Very strong energies. So you could be dealing with a Leo here. But I'm seeing that this is about putting boundaries around your happiness. You know you're moving in a beautiful path. So why put yourself in a situation where you're going to just get triggered and be upset and give yourself a nosedive over the next couple of days of just questioning your self-worth and this connection altogether. You know the truth. It's shining on you like rays of sunshine. So if you know the truth, stick to that. Have faith in that and have better boundaries around yourself. Now, I do feel, so that basically, just to get that in a nutshell, is you know the truth. Have faith in that. Stop putting yourself in situations where you continue to doubt what it is that you know. It's not healthy, but those are the boundaries you need to put up with yourself. Now, I'm also seeing that there could potentially be a Leo coming back to you. 
I mean, that's clear. Like when I'm, I'm looking at that, it just seems like the one masculine energy in this spread is Leo. But what do I need to know? Because I'm also being given the message that there's boundaries you need to set. Ace of Swords. Ten of Swords. King of Cups. So, understand in the previous spread we had Page of Cups. So you know that that masculine is coming to you. In reality, with a small offer, they'll show up like the King of Cups. And they want this. They want this. Because they see the bigger picture. They see something more with you. But I think what you're going to have to under, un understand and you'll know the truth, is that they are on a different part of their journey than they lead on. They may come across as they're being more mature, but you know they're starting a little younger. That's the truth. You'll see it. It'll be very clear. And you have the opportunity to really walk away from anxiety with this connection here by just simply understanding how your masculine is coming to the table. Now, because they're showing up a little immature, you need to have your boundaries up. You need to constantly make the choice to step into the truth. Constantly make the choice to be choice to be transparent and honest so that you can mitigate any of this anxiety. Okay. I think you'll pick up some serious anxiety from your person too as they pop up. They're coming in quite strong. They're well-intentioned, but you know they're going through something in life too. Remember, this energy is not yours. Another reason for you to have this boundary up because you shouldn't be taking on and feeling responsible for something that doesn't belong to you. Okay. So feminines, you're being given a clear warning there, but also being told that you're on a path of enlightenment and that you know the answers. Believe them. Protect that. Don't let any 3D circumstances get in the way of that. So here we have Dreams Astral. I was saying that you pick up on this person's energies. You could already be picking up on that, is what I'm hearing. Intensity. You could be picking up on the intensity of their experience. We've got walls and blockages. You see, Kundalini, there's a lot of sexual energies here. You could be picking up a lot of those sexual energies, sexual dreams. You know, if you're self-pleasuring yourself, you're going to feel your masculine around you. He does tap into you when you, um, when you put yourself into that frequency. But what I'm also understanding here very deeply is that you're the only one that's been able to sort of trespass these boundaries that he's put up emotionally. This masculine can shut you out as much as they want, but they're not able to shut the connection. Do you understand? That's why all this connection is here on the astral. It's because they're beginning to realize that they can't cut you out. They can stop talking to you. They can block you. They can take you off social media. They can stop talking about you. But the connection exists. And it's that realization that's creating a lot of intensity in them. And it's creating a huge sexual awakening is what I'm understanding. It's almost like the flames are reigniting. Understand at the very beginning, remember this flame was all over the place. And then eventually it found its steadiness. I feel the masculines are heading in that direction with you. They're sad. They're sad about the cir current circumstances. And there's communication coming in. But you see this communication coming in. You're going to understand that this that this masculine is in this intense, intense stage of really understanding where they are. I think this masculine is sad that they've lost time. That they never took decisions in the past. They're very preoccupied with what they didn't do. You're going to have to have your boundaries up, okay? Because there is communication coming in. There is communication coming in. Your lesson in it all, I was talking about sensuality and pleasure, right? Your lesson in this all feminine is to maintain your boundaries even with your masculine. Because remember, even if you love them and you end up in a connection with them, that doesn't mean you don't have boundaries. The best and the most beautiful relationships, the longest lasting relationships, those partners have boundaries with each other. That's what's important, Okay. So I do see us working towards getting into union here, okay? Because there's a masculine and a feminine undergoing a beautiful transformation. Gorgeous reading for today, taking us into the weekend. Beautiful. Let me know how this resonates, okay? Don't forget to like the channel. I mean, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment. I'm so, so, so honored to see the wonderful support that I'm getting here on this channel as I continue to build it. And I wish you really 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 good energies this weekend i am seeing that you're going to pick up on a lot of energies with dreams this weekend okay so just be warned